Hey, if you haven't had an opportunity to watch Heroes Season 2, stop listening now, major spoilers, here we go. Today is September 19th, 2015, and I just finished watching Heroes Season 2, and I'm going to head into Hero Season 3, which is entitled Villains, and I do remember that. Now, going back and talking about Hero Season 2, um, I did not know that the Devious Maids... Made with well, a made from devious maids is actually a hero. Um, or in this case, she could possibly be a villain. She had the black stuff coming out of her eyes. She was also on um, X Men uh, um, uh, The Last Stand. And um, I'm gonna try to look up her name real quick. I don't know if they're gonna be able to do it. It's probably easier just to go to um, uh, uh, to to uh, devious maids. That's probably gonna be the uh. The easiest way to locate her, and let me go ahead and pull that up. But that was fascinating because I, I, I remember I did remember the brother and sister connection. You know, most of the stuff that they were doing on the screen, I was like, okay, I remember that. Um, pretty much what happens is is that this uh, this this character um, has the ability to uh, how do you want to say it? To leak out this black fluid from her eyes, and whenever this black fluid you know, uh, leaks out of her eyes as teardrops or whatever, um, anyone that's in a, you know, probably, let's say, I don't know, 10 feet radius or maybe even, maybe even longer than that. Um, but if you're close to her, you're going to, you're going to pretty much die. Okay. So you have to be very, very careful. Um, <laughs> you know, what you're, if, if you're around her, because you, you will die. She'll, she'll kill you, man. And, uh, let me get the actress's, uh, name real quick. And I always forget this one. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's, uh, Ramirez. I'm almost positive. It should be uh, Rosie, man. Yep, Rosie, man. Uh, Dan, Danana, D, D, Dania, Dania Ramirez. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I just, I just murdered that name. I just, I just definitely murdered that. It was horrible. I think it's Dania, Dania Ramirez. But um, we know her as Rosie. Okay, so Rosie from Devious Maids is actually uh, <laughs> a a hero, man, and she's also. Um, in, uh, in the last stand, and I'm going to get her name real quick for the last stand as I scroll down, um, inside of heroes for season two, she plays, uh, uh, Maya and, uh, Maya has this, um, what you call it? She was also Blanca from Sopranos, if you remember that, but, uh, Callisto, man, is who she played inside of, uh, X-Men, the last stand. And you'll remember her as soon as you see her, man. I mean, she's, she's absolutely drop dead gorgeous. All right. Um, I love the brother sister um, situation, man. But you know what trips me out is that I thought that uh, Siler was dead. I thought he was gone, and I actually believe this too, man. Because you know it's been a while since I watched this show, and uh, <laughs> I should have known better because season three is one of my favorite seasons, you know, with the villains. But I don't know. I guess I was just into the show as I've been watching it for these uh, last uh, two days, and um, I thought that you know he was dead. Then all of a sudden he pops back up. Um, out of this, um, how do you want to say it? This this situation to where um, the girl from Rookie Blue, Officer McNally, her character on Heroes is I don't know. It just she just disappears. Uh, maybe she quit. Maybe she was fired. I mean, who knows? Maybe she just went on to work on another show uh, when Hero Season Two came about, or maybe they took too long to get the the contracts written. But another girl steps into her. Um, her role, and they call uh, the girl a different name. I think it's like Jessica or or Cameron or something like that. And she has the the powers to manipulate uh, um, anyone's mind and take them to wherever you want to go. So uh, Siler is actually inside of this this um, location where this girl has uh, Siler, you know, uh, captive, and she's not going to let him go. Turns out that the girl is actually. Um, a, 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 a big bone, really overweight, obese lady, um, that is actually hiding her figure inside of this skinny looking girl, this attractive girl, this redhead girl. And then once, uh, Siler kills her, um, not by, you know, how do you want to say it? Not by his normal way of killing by, you know, drawing a line over your head and ripping your skull out and eating your brains or whatever. Uh, what ends up happening is that he just uh, he kills her and then he finds out that, you know, he doesn't have his powers. So that's pretty much the whole entire, you know, idea about this season is to get his powers back in order to set up the villains uh, season for season uh, three. And um, Hero 
pisses me off, man, this season. I'm not going to lie about that. Season two will have you... I mean, first off, you're, you're going to feel really sorry for Hero. Because Hero is, for me, he's one of my favorite characters. But he definitely... I, f I forgot how bad Hero was in this season, man. None of this would have happened. None, none of the... None of the events that took place inside of here, uh, Hero's dad being killed, um, yeah, Hero's dad is dead, and um, the, the Shanti virus, none of this stuff would have happened if it wasn't for Hero. Hero goes back in time, okay, he travels back in time, and he, he tries to save the past and correct the past, but he ends up falling in love with this um, warrior... Um, who turns out to be this white dude inside of Japan, and he's the, the guy that's carrying, um, I think his name is Takito Kasaki or something like that, but I can't even pronounce the shit, uh, Tanzi Kawazi or something like that, I don't know, but he has the sword, and the sword has the emblem, the emblem traces back to the company, the company is now being hunted by him, who is a person called Adam, and Adam is the beginning, he's the first, let's, let's say the first person that has uh, the ability to to, um, to to be a hero, or, or maybe the first hero, let's just call it that. It turns out, though, that a uh, hero goes back, he falls in love with the dude's wife, or his girlfriend, or, or would-be wife in the future, um, and then takes his girl, so the dude gets mad, and then he decides to just turn into a villain, a bad guy. And then he lives long enough because we find out that he has, you know, um, he has the same ability as Claire. You know, he can't die. So before there was Claire, there was Adam. Before there was Adam, there was uh, Tenzo or Tenzi Kanshi or whatever the hell that dude's name is. The samurai Japanese dude. And uh, it's just, it's crazy because, like, Hero could have been there. If, if let's say that let's say that Adam survived all these years, you know, 400, 600 years or whatever. And he was about to kill his dad. And all the people from the company started dying and being murdered off. You know, Peter Petrelli's mother, um, you know, uh, Hero's father, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, Hero could have been there to save his dad, you know. Um, but he, he wasn't because he fucked up the goddamn past. And it sucks. So, <laughs> other than that, man, um, the uh, the rest of the episode, we get introduced to this, uh, this uh, black chick, man, um, who... I can't remember her name, but Micah... It's like, it's like Micah's cousin... Okay, so Michael's father's cousin, um, or My Michael's father's grandmother or whatever is, you know, the, the cousin of Micah, and she has these powers where she's off of a comic book and stuff, and everything kind of um, ties in, you know, with the comic books and stuff, you know, but that was pretty cool to see, like, a WWE moves and stuff like that. Uh, favorite um, episode, let's get into that real quick. Favorite episode is the season finale, Powerless. Um, I would say Truth and Consequences, which is uh, episode number 11. And then Out of Time, four months ago, uh, Kindred, Lizards, and then four months later. That, that would definitely be my, uh, my, my favorite, favorite episodes. Um, this is going to be a pretty short one because I don't really feel like talking about it. It wasn't that good of a season. You know, um, I could have actually probably seen uh, heroes go down in viewership if uh, if I was watching it live and if if I was tracking it back then. You know, but back then I didn't really care about viewership, but I could definitely see it going downhill from there because it was just the visual effects were a lot better. Like you get to actually see Hero walking around more whenever he freezes time. Um, you also get to see Hero um, he'll freeze time, and while f time is frozen, he can actually move around now. Which is really cool. Uh, Peter Petrelli, um, you know, he's able to um, have even grander powers than he had in season one. And what was interesting about, you know, Peter Petrelli is that he uh, lost his um, identity. And, um, you know, prior, or how do you want to say, at the end of season one, whenever he blew up in the sky, uh, his brother saved him, uh, Nathan Petrelli, who is now dead. Nathan Petrelli's been shot. Or he could possibly live in season three. Who knows? We'll find out, though. I mean, hopefully he comes back and he's a villain. I don't really remember season three, man. And that's, I, I think it's just because I haven't watched this show in so long, man. I was all, you know, fascinated around Smallville. And Smallville took up all my time. You know, I rewatched that a thousand something times. But Heroes, I kind of left off, you know, probably because it ended and I was just like, damn, why did you end the show? But that's probably why. Um, but yeah, um, Peter, he uh, gets involved with these guys in Ireland. He's locked inside of this uh, um, uh, containment um, um, container. And then uh, someone finds him and then they take him and uh, kind of hold this 
this information uh, about who he is, this, this one identifying information, this box that had some information with some, you know, stuff that was on his personal belongings. They hold that over his head so that he could do, you know, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, um, do some some odd jobs for them, you know, and that's rob places and stuff like that. Uh, there's this girl that Peter meets, and um, she kisses Peter, and then the symbol comes on his uh, arm, and then you know we end up finding out that um, it's 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 all pretty much a lie, man. Uh, Peter goes to the future. He finds out that New York is is, is uh, destroyed, and it was like June 14, 2008, or something like that. Was the day that the virus uh, dropped, and then we find out that Adam is the one that wants to drop the virus. Adam being the one that was, I think it's Takeo, Takeo something, um, but he's the one that Hero was supposed to <laughs> go back and save, but he ends up, you know, Hero ends up falling in love with a dude's um, girl. And uh, it, it's just it's just horrible, horrible stuff that happens, man. Then we find out that Nikki has another uh, personality. I believe it's like Jessica or Veronica or a Kim or something like that. Anyway, she has another personality. We get introduced to that until inside of us uh, season two. We'll probably see more of it inside of season three. Um, the uh, the guy. The man with the uh, the rim horn glasses, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, Claire Bennett's father, he's uh <laughs> he was shot in the eye um by <laughs> by the doctor, man. It's crazy. I don't I don't know why they did it that way, but that's that's what they decided to do, and um it was really, really crazy to see that Claire Bennett, you know, her blood can heal you. So she ends up healing her father, Noah Bennett, and then um uh, prior to that, though, uh, Claire finds this this kid, and I gotta I gotta fi actually find out his name real quick. Let me go ahead and go through this. Let me see if I can go to season two, and then look at the cast and see if I can find his name. He looks so familiar. He looks really really familiar. Um, I don't know if they're gonna have it right on the top. Let me see. I forgot his name. It might be West, maybe. Yeah, West man, Nicholas uh, Diagosto, Diagosto, and uh, he was on. Um, you 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 remember him from Final Destination, but you'll also remember him from Gotham as Harvey Dent, and he's a young Harvey Dent. But most importantly, I remembered him from Masters of Sex. He played uh, Ethan um, Haas or something like that. But he's now off the show. And now he's on Gotham as Harvey Dent. So Harvey Dent, this is this is what's so crazy about about heroes, man. Harvey Dent is actually. On heroes. So before Harvey Dent was Harvey Dent, he was a hero and he was able to fly. And then now he's a villain inside of uh, Gotham. Or he will be a villain inside of Gotham, man. It's fascinating, you know, what they're, like I said, what they're able to do with this and how everything connects with these actors and actresses, man. I don't know why uh, Hayden is not going to return. Um, but, you know, with all the promos for her, uh, her show, which I can't even remember the damn name of it. It's so bad. I don't even watch it. It's some kind of country music crap. Um, Nashville. It's, it's, that's all she's been doing, man. She's had, you know, Until Dawn, the video game, and, um, just Nashville, you know, from 2012 until now and until present, you know, she, she's just been on Nashville, and, uh, that's pretty much all she has. She doesn't, she doesn't do anything else, man, so I would think that, you know, she would need the work, but, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're paying her a ridiculous amount of money for Nashville because of that, that stupid damn, um, cotton, uh, panties, um, underwear song, you know, the touch, the feeling, the fabric, fabric of your life. Yeah, that's horrible. I can't, st every time I hear that shit, I'm like, why would they do this? But I guess people love Nashville for some reason, you know, um, if you had like Kenny Chesney on there every single day, I would watch Nashville. I would. I, if they had Kenny Chesney playing some sort of role every single time, I would watch Nashville. But I, I just I can't watch it for just for Hayden. I just I can't do it. Um, let me see what else. What else? What else is a uh, thing to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Micah. Micah actually um, has powers now to where he is able to communicate with electronics. That was pretty interesting to see. Um, it might be that the the, the powers um, for the heroes actually runs inside of a bloodline. That's going to be interesting to kind of figure out later on. Uh, other than that, man, I think that's pretty much it, man. Um, the Haitian. Let's talk about the Haitian real quick before I get out of here. The Haitian has new powers. He's able to actually uh, erase um, um, your memories uh, one by one now. 
So he can, you know, keep your memories if he touches your head and focuses or whatever. But he can actually go in and erase all of your memories uh, one by one. And that's pretty scary, man. So inside of this episode, he actually erased one of the um, original members of um, of the uh, paper um, uh, company that was trying to uh, take out uh, Noah. And um, he erases the memory of the dude's wife, man. It's crazy. So he's like, yeah, tell me about your wife. He's like, I can't remember. Yeah. Well, you don't remember because I'm fucking badass and I'm the Haitian. But, well, the Haitian didn't say that, but, you know, Noah Bennett said that. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, if you're a fan of Californication, and look, I, I got to make sure I get this right, though, because let me go ahead and look this guy up, man. Let me see. Californication. If you're a fan of Californication, and this is where I knew this guy from. I didn't remember him on Heroes, man. But as soon as I see his face, I'm going to click on it. <clears throat> This guy is actually on there. Uh, Steven Tabwaski. Uh, uh, Tobolowski. Tobolowski. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Stu. Stu. Yes. Stu from Californication. Okay. We better know him as Stu because he's absolutely hilarious on Californication, man. But he was on Heroes, man, which is absolutely... It's, it's crazy. I don't know why. I don't know how. Um, but, yeah, he's on there, man. And uh, for Heroes, he plays this guy, guy called Bob. And um, Bob has, and I check this out, I'm about to tie in some other things, all right? So, um, because I, I almost forgot some things, so I don't want to end it yet. But Bob from Californication is actually the father of someone from Frozen, all right? And I'm, I'm going I'm to tie all this in there, man. So Christian Bell from Frozen, everybody knows Frozen. I mean, it's like, it's, it's a crazy movie. People went nuts over it. But Christian Bell is also on uh, House of Lives, House of Lies, man, uh, with... Uh, with that one dude, man, I keep on um, um, uh, forgetting his name, man, but he's a war machine, man. Uh, so House of Lies, man, you know, Genie from House of Lies, who plays well uh, with Marty Khan, man, Don Cheadle. And then you have uh, the Stephen um, uh, Twawaski dude who plays Bob Bishop. Bob Bishop is the father of Christian Bell. All right. So that kind of ties them in together with Showtime, man. Showtime. They're both, uh, you know, Showtime, you know, people, man, because, you know, Californication was on Showtime and then um, House of Lies is on Showtime, man. So it's kind of cool to see everything kind of connecting in, man. It's it's fascinating stuff, guys. It really, really is fascinating stuff. And um, I, I never really liked um, um, uh, Christian Bell until House of Lies. And as I go back, and I still can't watch that Veronica Mars shit. I just can't. I, I'm sorry. I, I'll never be able to watch. I'll, I'll never watch that, man. I'm sorry. I just can't do it, man. Um, but after seeing her on Heroes, she did a really good job on Heroes, man. But I think that's just because the second time that I'm watching this now is because, you know, I'm a House of, uh, of Lies um, uh, fan. So, therefore, you know, I want to see Jeannie doing some good stuff. And she did a really good job. I can see that the character uh, of Jeannie is actually from Heroes and just turned up a little bit and in less violence, okay? But it's still, she does still does a little playful things with Marty and stuff, you know, when she was like, inside of Heroes, she was like, uh, can I keep him? And doing stuff like that, that's what she does inside of House of Lies. Very flirtatious in certain, um, you know, uh, scenes and stuff like that. So you can definitely tell, you know, that she kind of honed in on that with the, the character of Jeannie inside of um, uh, House of Lies, uh, inside of her character, um, Ellie, on... Um, on heroes, man. So that's fascinating to see. Uh, let me see. I think that's pretty much it, man. I, I don't think I'm missing anything. Ando didn't do anything inside of this episode. <laughs> he didn't do anything. He was he was he was like a fan, you know, reading um, uh, hero stories from the future that he was able to send back. What it what ended up happening is that he placed hero would place a piece of paper inside of the sword, and inside of the sword, the paper would appear in the future. So if he wrote a letter to Ando in the past, he'd place it in the, in the butt of the sword, and then Ando would see the piece of paper, and he would be able to read it. It's, it's pretty cool, man. Um, let me see, man. I think, I think that's it. Uh, Peter Petrelli's mom is, um, is, is, is in on the death of, uh, of Nathan Petrelli. He was shot at the end by somebody. Um, somebody with a hat on and a jacket. I don't know if it was Claire's dad. I don't know if it was uh, Siler. Um, I don't know if it was some new person. Don't know. We'll have to find out uh, in season three with villains, man. But that's pretty much it. Um, the season itself, I have to give it a rating of nine out of ten stars. It just wasn't good. wasn't too interesting. Um, matter of fact, I just pressed play on the disc and... Um, 
and I just let it play. I really wasn't paying attention to it. I walked around the house, you know, cleaned up and, uh, you know, uh, cooked some food and stuff like that. But I really wasn't paying attention, you know, to the entire uh, uh, episode, each episode. I think I watched maybe the season finale episode uh, uh, 11, 10, 9, uh, 1, 2, and 3. And then the rest of them were kind of like, eh, it's all right. Um, you know, I, you know, I, I hear something exciting. I would run back in, rewind it, and then press play, and then uh, yeah, all right, and then walk somewhere else, man. So, um, but I will be getting the Blu-ray, um, and you'll see a video on my YouTube channel, man, that actually talks about that. I ordered the Blu-ray um, to 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 complete my Blu-ray collection because season two is on DVD um, inside of my collection. So I wanted to have all Blu-rays. I ordered it from Amazon, and if you check out the video, you'll see what happens, man. Um, I might put that in the link in the description box, but if not, just check my channel. It'll it'll say Hero Season Two Blu-ray Epic Fell. So <laughs> that's what it'll say, man. Um, I'm out of here, guys. That's it. Comment, like, subscribe. Share the video. Don't share the video. I really don't care, man. I'm just celebrating heroes, man. And we're getting ready to head into season three, getting ready for the return of heroes, the phenomenon, which is heroes reborn. We're out of here, guys. We're only a couple of days away. Matter of fact, we are actually, let me get this up. We're actually one, two, three, four. We're five days away, man. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts.